Hey folks, so today I'm going to show you how to build this nav light for your kayak. This is going to be a very simple and kind of cheap DIY kayak light pole. Before we get started, let's first talk about this light that we're going to need. It's a pretty bright flashlight. One cool thing about this flashlight, it, it has a cop light. You just pull up the um, bulb housing and it's going to expose this uh, 360 degree light and you're going to need it for your light pole. The Coast Guard requirement is it must be visible for two nautical miles and it has to be three to 360 degree. The cob light here is going to come out about 110 lumens, so you're well above that requirement to see two miles. And this flashlight has a like a micro USB charging port to charge the battery. You can also unscrew it and take out the battery to charge it. This is a 18650 battery. It also has a magnet at the bottom here and you can stick it on like a metal surface. All right, so the link to this flashlight is in the video description, so check it out. All right, so let's get started and build this light pole for your kayak. Okay, so let's talk about the parts you're going to need. Uh, the first thing is you're going to need a uh, one inch to a half inch PVC reducing coupler, and this is schedule 40. You're also going to need a PVC plug. This is a one inch plug and it's got the flat base on the end. Next thing you're going to need a closet bolt. This is a quarter inch uh, closet bolt or I think it's also called a toilet bolt. And this bolt's got a flat tip at the end there so that way it can go into the track mount. And you're going to need a quarter inch nut. And masking tape. You're also going to need some uh, uh, PVC pipe and this is a SDR21. It's also called a class 200 PVC pipe. It's got a thinner wall. And you only need about three to four inches of this pipe. You're also going to need half inch uh, schedule 40 PVC pipe. And for this half inch pipe, you can make it any length you want. You also need some epoxy sticks. Um, you can use this JB Weld uh, water weld or you can use the uh, steel stick. It doesn't really matter. You also need some PVC primer and PVC cement. So we're going to start by drilling holes into the 1 inch PVC plug. Basically we're going to drill 4 holes into the 1 inch plug. I'm using a quarter inch drill bit. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole into the bottom of the plug. Um, just like that. All right, folks, so what we're going to do next is we're going to mix this two-part epoxy and we're going to compact it right inside this plug. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to insert this quarter-inch uh, bolt right through the hole that we drill, right through the center like that. Okay, and we're going to set it down and we're going to screw on the nut. Okay, just like that. Okay, so we'll mix the epoxy and we'll shove it right down in there. And for this step, you want to work quickly because that epoxy dries pretty fast. When you're pressing the epoxy inside, uh, try to keep the bolt at the center. And also, you want to compact it in there enough so that the epoxy kind of comes out these holes. It doesn't have to come out all the way. Even halfway is fine, or three-quarters of, of the way. And we want to make sure the epoxy comes out the hole, so that way when it dries up, the epoxy doesn't spin or comes out, you know, as we tighten it. So as you can see, the epoxy has two color. Uh, in the center, it's black and outer side is gray. So you want to mix it really well. And as I said, you got to do this kind of fast because um, it's going to dry pretty quick. And you want to mix it so that it, be it becomes one color, which is like a dark gray. All right, so once you have it, just kind of compact it in there. Try to keep it center. And then you can uh, Screw the bolt in. All 
Okay, so now as you can see, we got it uh, we got it in there and it's coming out of these holes, so that's what we really want. And the nut is also submerged in the epoxy. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna let this dry for a little bit. And once in a while, you wanna turn the bolt a little bit, you know, test it just to make sure the epoxy doesn't stick to the bolt, okay? Once you have it loose like that, once you're able to turn it and it turns freely, um, that's fine. You don't need to do anything more. Um, we just want to make sure that epoxy doesn't stick to the bolt. Okay, so you can let this dry. Uh, the cure time is about 24 hours. Okay, folks, so here's our track base right here. It's all dried and we got all the parts ready. So we are going to assemble everything together and you want to test to make sure that bolt turns and it does turn freely. It's going to be a little bit tight initially, but as you use it more, it's going to loosen up. Now, this is just a demonstration. So the pole I'm using for my nav light is going to be pretty short. This is about a 12 inch pole. And when you make your own, you can make it any length you want. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the base mount and then I'm going to insert it into the one inch side of the reducing coupler. Okay. And when you put it in here, it's going to be pretty tight. And you can make this permanent by using the uh, PVC cement. So you could also just use some large pliers and force it in, okay, turn and force it in that way. Or you can use the pliers and uh, put it on the base like that. Okay, don't squeeze the, uh, the bolt, just put it on the base and then you can just hammer it um, into the coupler, okay? Making sure not to grip the bolt. So when you attach the uh, base to the coupler, it's gonna be permanent, it's not coming out. We're gonna add some primer, and then we'll add some cement. Now we're gonna insert the base into the coupler, like that. And we're gonna tap that base into the coupler. Again, don't grip the uh, bolt. You can also just hammer the sides of the base, get it in there. All right, and there it is. Now we have our base. And turn it, so yep, it turns freely. So we're good to go on the base. Okay, so there's our base and we're gonna assemble everything else now. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the pole to the bottom coupler. Then we're gonna attach the top of the pole to the top, sorry, to the other reducing coupler. And then we're gonna insert the one inch of PVC pipe into the coupler. That's going to hold our flashlight. And then we're gonna put some masking tape, wrap it around the flashlight, and then we're just gonna insert it into that uh, PVC pipe. And the reason you want the masking tape is just uh, so it fits snug inside that PVC pipe holder. We're gonna take that base we just assembled and we'll put some primer and then some cement. And then we're gonna join the base with the light pole and just get in there really snug. And we're gonna do the same thing with the other uh, reducing coupler, put in some primer and some cement. We're gonna join the reducing coupler with the top of the pole and just shove it in there really tight, just like that. Now we'll add primer to the top reducing coupler now we add cement. Then we'll take the one inch SDR21 PVC pipe and insert it into the reducing coupler. Okay, just like that. So this acts as a flashlight housing and you insert it just like that, okay? So there's your light pole. And it is pretty loose, so that's why I'm gonna use some masking tape and we're gonna wrap it around the flashlight so it fits snugly inside that housing. Okay, there it is, there's our masking tape, okay? And it's over the cap, so just make sure you're still able to remove the cap so you can replace the battery or recharge the battery, okay? So it's gonna fit inside that housing just like that, okay? And there it is. All right, so that is the finished product. That is your DIY, very simple navigation light for your kayak. And to mount it, it's pretty easy. 
there's your track mount. So it goes in and then you just turn it. All right, there it is. So there's your light pole. It's pretty easy. And as you can see, that NAF light is pretty bright. Um, it's daytime right now, so it's not gonna be very bright. I got the light off too in my garage. But at nighttime, that's gonna shine pretty bright. And you can see it well beyond two miles. All right, folks, so that's about it. Hope you liked it. Uh, please like, share, subscribe. I will see you guys next time. Have fun fishing. Tight lines.